This is our new voltage control frequency divider. So we'll just take any waveform from, say, uh, a VCO and plug it into this. These, the, the two ends are, in this, the B end is normal to the A end, so you'll see both of these light up. <clears throat> and then we'll take, uh, we'll listen to the output to that. control. Actually a low pass filter in reverse. Sensitivity. Now we can uh, modulate the input would say Same thing for the B divider, and the lag, the B divider is about five times stronger. The B divider The B divider also has a, um, a another divisor range of 1 to 32,000. Starts in the same place, but ends up being very slow. There's also an XOR out, which is a combination of the A and B inputs uh, run through an exclusive OR gate. Runs a sort of ring modulation type weirdness to the potential sonic palette of the frequency divider. Okay, and an example of how you would uh, use this with a keyboard, we got uh, our MIDI verter hooked up to our keyboard over here. And my word for it, it's over there. So we have the note CV going to our VCO, we've got the gate going to our DAD module, and then we're using one of the outs on the DAD, the attenuated out, this guy here. I'm going to plug the attenuated out into 
the ACV here. And then the full output of the DAD is going to our little dual linear VCA. And we'll hook that up to our amplifier. And we'll take uh, the A out, run that into a little mixer, and we'll take the B out, run that into the second channel of our mixer. All right. So now we have a, a short envelope and a little bit of voltage control for the frequency divider. That's the A divider, we'll add a little B in. Now we'll dial in a little more control voltage on the divider. And we can also up the attack time of this, and so we get you can see it's uh, had some nice tonalities. It's got just a little bit of a rough edge to it. So I hope you buy one. Mm -hmm.